Dr. Ben Benjamin and Tom Myers. Hi, welcome you guys. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Glad to be here. Yep. So I understand um, you're going to be you guys are going to be playing in a workshop in Costa Rica soon. Yeah, yep. you can call it a workshop if you want, but we plan to play as well as work. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have we have uh, we've got six or seven days together, and we're going to be working for six hours a day for four of those days, and two of those days we're going to give people off to relax and take trips and enjoy themselves and you know there's plenty of time during the day people are hot tub and swim etc cetera, etc cetera, besides the hard work we're going to do oh that's awesome because so many times people go to these workshops um, and seminars and just work 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 all the time and it's nice to just kind of unwind a little bit too yeah this is an absolutely beautiful place with great food great atmosphere and uh, it's just a magnificent place to have a workshop and spend some time relaxing so and on the days off, you can either uh, you can go to the coast, or they, they have trips down to the coast, or they have a zip line thing through the jungle, various trips that, that they've organized that, that you can additionally take if you want to. Yeah, the, there's a whitewater rafting trip that people love that they did last year. However, the last time I was there, I indulged myself in having a lot of body work because they had lovely, really, really good practitioners there. And, and uh, so in addition to the... Uh, teaching body work in class, I was getting body work myself. <laughs> was it pretty affordable then too? Then, yeah, very much so. I've, I've forgotten what the price was per, and God knows they might have changed it since then. But uh, yeah, it was very. It was certainly under stateside prices. Yep. Yeah, because very reasonable. They, they, I had a watsu session and also a, a deep tissue session. They, they were great. Yep. And and for my wife, she's from the Philippines, and it's about five dollars or so an hour. So it's <laughs> so you, like three or four hours in a row is definitely affordable. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was that low, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so have you guys teamed up before with the workshop before? No, not 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 anything on this scale. Yeah, we've done some webinars. Uh, we've done uh, some interview webinars together, but we've never uh, talked together. And we think it'll be pretty exciting to look at the neck from our different approaches that have a lot of differences and also have a lot of similarities. And how many years have you got? Um, like, so, Ben, you've been doing this for a few years in Costa Rica then? or? Yeah, I, did, I started doing it last year, and it was very successful. So I said, I'm going to do it again, and I, I invited Tom to come with me. And I was down at this place with uh, Eric Dalton a few years ago doing a similar kind of uh, co-teaching thing. Okay. Which is, why, which is why I'm familiar with the place. And this is considered off-season, isn't it? So it's more affordable then? Um, no. Uh, this is in uh, February, so that's really on-season. Uh, but the place is also very affordable. You get, an, you know, you get three beautiful meals a day. You get a really nice accommodations. You do the workshop. You know, and it's, it's a very affordable kind of thing. There's lesser prices and there's higher prices depending on the accommodation you choose. There's five different levels of, of accommodation. Okay. So to have full vacation and have a, a workshop with the both of us, we think it's pretty reasonable. And a little bit of a write-off, too. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doesn't it? So you guys are going to be talking about neck pain then, is it? Well, we're going to be looking at the neck. as mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a really interesting... Um, place that we arrived at because so much of the referred kind of pain that Ben is so good at starts out from the neck and can refer down the back or down the arms and uh, for me as looking at, at things from a, from a structural point of view the neck is this delicate thing at the top of a very large tower with a small base of support so almost anything that's going wrong in the pelvis or uh, with the rib cage turned to the side or anything like that, it's going to end up in the neck. So, it's it's a way of getting everywhere um, while focusing our our work on one place. And and just like your 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 book too, Anatomy Trains. I mean, everything's related. Everything's connected somehow. It seems. And yeah, everything everything is connected. I mean, that that is in fact the scientific truth is that everything is connected. The trouble is that. If you say everything is connected, you're in a kind of vacuous world because that doesn't tell you what to do next. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, so, you know, for, for example, if you have a pain in your shoulder blade, it's connected to your neck usually. It could be coming from three or four different things that go wrong. But generally speaking, it's coming from five or six inches away from something in your neck directly. And if you put your finger on it, you'll see a pain shoot from the neck right down to the shoulder blade. 
You can also have a, another ligament that goes down and gives you a pain in the chest, another one down the arm. And if you can find it, my, my work looks at what's hurting you right now. And I think Tom's work is more about why did you get to this place in the first place and what can you do to prevent it from happening? And my work is let's get this thing that's hurting you right now taken care of and then let's start working on why it happened. What do you think about that, Tom? Yeah, well, that, that, that is what attracted me into doing this with the, you know, working with you in the webinars for one and then, and then doing this project for another is uh, I love the specificity that you have been. And uh, I actually love the generality that I have too, but um, I, I think it's going to be fun to try to put them together and see what happens. It's, uh, I, it's always good to put uh, kind of opposite things. I don't think Ben and I are opposite, but uh, to put different things together and, and rub them together and see what kind of smoke appears, I think it's a great idea. And, and, what I, and what I notice too is when I'm teaching classes, sometimes I can talk until I'm blue in the face, but when I bring somebody else in to um, explain what I'm doing too, it kind of reinforces everything. You mean like taking your wife to a therapist and she finally listens? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> so what's exciting to me about working with Tom is the kind of dialogue that we're going to have that takes into account, you know, how did the person get into this condition that their, their neck hurts them or wherever it hurts them in their upper body? And my input in terms of, well, how do you figure out exactly what's causing you to have a pain down in your scapula region right now? It's usually a part of your neck. Uh, one specific spot that's referring pain to your scapula. Now, another part, another ligament, can refer pain down your arm, another one down your chest. So that's where I start, and then going next into, well, how did this happen? And I think that's where Tom's work is so effective. And, and do you guys see um, you guys see branching out from this more too? So let's say for the lower back or legs or arms and stuff too. I'm sure that over the course of the week, it, it, that's uh, what I was saying about the neck earlier. Is is it's such a junction box for everything um, that I'm sure will will branch out towards it. But it really is better um, if you're doing it. Um, a 30-hour workshop or, or however this comes down to really focus in on something it's you, you, you can get everything into the microcosm um, and so people will be able to take these methods away and apply them uh, to other parts of the body but if we try to cover the whole body in 30 hours you, what you get is a flyover and you really don't get something you can take home with if we concentrate on the neck uh, people would be able to buy Ben's stuff or my stuff and then apply that to the hip the leg um, the back other places, but I think it's a really good idea just to focus on, on the neck. It's actually 24 hours of, of teaching that we're going to do. Oh, is it? Okay. 24. Uh, 24. And, you, you, know, you make my point for me even better that we stay focused on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if it goes well, you know, maybe we'll, we'll do another part of the body another time, but I agree with Tom to really focus in on, you know, one area of the body so people can really go home and the next, you know, day they can start using it. And it's something they understand in a more thorough kind of way. And what are the main kind of techniques? Are you, going to, you guys going to incorporate stretching into it then too? Or is it mostly going to be manual then? Or My, my part will definitely involve movement. I'm hoping that in some of the other parts of the day maybe um, we'll have some extracurricular stuff that will involve movement. I'm, I'm getting very much involved in trying to build bridges between the movement world and the manual world. Um, in fact, one of the first times that I took a group to the tropics, it wasn't to Costa Rica, it was to Mexico. I took a bunch of uh, massage therapists and yoga teachers and I thought, oh, this will be great, we'll <laughs> build these bridges. And what happened was that the yoga teachers had no idea how to touch and the massage therapists had no idea how to move. And uh, so that was actually an abject failure. <laughs> I've been doing better since at trying to build the bridges between them. But I, I do think it's just as you, we really can't have artists who don't know how to change a light bulb and we can't have scientists who don't know, uh, who don't understand the aesthetics of, of what they're doing. I think it's the same way that manual and movement therapy are really part of one educational thrust uh, that's coming into the society to, to, to get people back into living in their body and that that has to do with uh, both the manual and the movement therapy. Yeah, so, I, I, couldn't yeah agree, I couldn't agree more, Tom. And one of, the, one of the things that I've been doing more and more lately as well uh, is incorporating 
you know, movement of various types. Uh, first, I incorporate stretching to see that people are flexible, and then strength building, balance, uh, agility, power, strength, all those things. I think it, they're really important that if you're going to work with the body and just have one isolated little thing you do, that's not as useful as, you know, if your back or your neck is okay, but you don't know how to move so that you hurt yourself again, that's not so great. And oftentimes people don't have the, uh, the appropriate flexibility or strength to do what they want to do or alignment. And so that's why they get into trouble again. And so the first thing I do is teach people how to assess. So we'll spend a lot of time learning assessment techniques and doing various kinds of testing and then treatment techniques and then some of the movement things as well. One of the things that, uh, two things that Ida Rolf said come to mind. One is uh, where you think it is, it ain't. <laughs> um, so, uh, actually going over to something Diane Lee said, uh, you don't punish the victims for what the criminals are doing. And very often the part that's hurting is the victim, and the part that's actually short or actually failing is somewhere else. And so you, you have to go and find that somewhere else um, if you're going to answer the question, why isn't this getting better? I mean, we all have things that happen to our bodies, and they get better within a few days because the body has tropisms towards health and reestablishes its own alignment and its own function. Um, when things aren't getting better, you have to ask yourself what failed, uh, and that's um, where Ben's uh, tests down from Syriax are so brilliant, and then you have to carry on, as Ben knows, I'm not saying he doesn't, um, you have to carry on to say, well, what was the thing that made that thing fail, or what stopped that thing from healing itself? And that's the next step back that I really think that both Ben and I, in our different ways, carry to massage therapy, which is, uh, if you want the thing to stay away, go away and stay away, you have to find out um, what was holding that in place. You know, just one little example that I think both of us recognize. If you have a really forward head, your weight is transferred far forward on your feet. So oftentimes people have a lot of trouble in their calves, and it's really far away. It has to do with the alignment of their neck. Um, and, and there are various approaches to how you might correct that. But unless you take care of that, you're always going to have some kind of problem in your legs or your feet if you don't correct the thing up top. Yeah, and let me go another one with that. Other people with head forward, since head forward posture is about the most ubiquitous postural problem we see, um, they then in, uh, recruit muscles that go to the shoulder, like the trapezius and the levator, to hold the head on. And then the poor scapula has divided loyalties. Uh, it's at once the stability for the head, and yet it's supposed to be following the humerus around and supporting the humerus in whatever it does. So a lot of these rotator cuff injuries... Um, are actually a result of head forward posture and you could fix the rotator cuff injuries but if you don't fix the head forward posture you're just setting it up for them to re-injure themselves down the road. Right. Well it looks like it'll be a pretty exciting weekend. We hope lots of people come and join us. <laughs> <laughs> yes we do. Yeah. And before we go I want to put in a plug for the food. I, I'm being an official fat person. I really like uh, good food where I go somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, they have such wonderful food down there at uh, Pura Vida, and you're up in the hills among the coffee groves. It's really fresh and clean, and I, I really like the place a lot. And, you know, one of the things I was amazed at is that when I went down there, and if they didn't have something I needed to eat, they went and made it for me. You know, they just they just made it for me when they didn't. I needed some more protein or something. They went down and made me some fish. It was up 10 minutes later. So it was really uh, extraordinary, the kind of customer service that they provide. And then, um, how do people register for the class then? They just call my office. Uh, they can email us or call my office. They can just go online to benbenjamin.com and see all the details of the trip. And if they just call my number, 617-576-0777, they can just email me right off the website. Uh, they can email me, ben at benbenjamin.com, which is easy to remember. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and there are many ways. To, I, I'm not hard to find. Okay. And, and then, um, what is the class size it's going to be? Well, we don't know yet, but probably it'll be, you know, on the small side, probably around 20 or so. Uh, we, we don't really know yet because we've got several months away. It might be 20, 25. We're not sure. And one other question. Are you guys going to be team teaching or um, you're going to be teaching a little bit and then he's going to be teaching a little bit then? Or how is that going to work then? 
my expectation is we'll we'll have all of the above. I I in fully intend to take all of the courses that Ben is offering, and uh, and I'm going to take all the courses he's offering. And so I imagine that in there, uh, especially as we get through the first couple of days and have have heard each other's song, that uh, we'll start singing harmony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we have a you know it's it's a new new dance when you work with somebody you you go back and forth, and then we'll I'm sure in the last few days we'll start having dialogues about things. And uh, our approaches are different, and yes, yet they're uh, similar in terms of their, they'll be complementary to one another. Yeah, and I, I don't want to take the students out of this as well. The, um, the character of a group like that, especially if you're working over four or five days, that the, uh, the people who come tend to shape the questions and to shape the dialogue and to shape the directions that we'd be looking in. Absolutely. So the best way to get a hold of you guys is, again, benbenjamin.com. Yeah, benbenjamin.com. Yep. Good. And then the phone number again? 617-576-0777. Okay. So it's, thanks, thanks. Yep. Thank you very much, Ben, and thank you very much, Tom. Great, Ryan. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yep. Thank yeah, you. Great talk. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.